All right, so before you route the rabbit, you got to scribe your baseline. Typically you're going to have two boards that you're doing at a time, left and right side of a drawer or a box, something like that. You set them next to each other, you can do two at a time and it keeps the router plane from tipping. I'm not pushing the plane all the way through the cut because I could blow some fibers out, so I'm spinning it around so that I can approach it from the other direction. I should point out this took about twice as long as it normally does because I had to work around the camera. This usually takes under a minute and even with the tool setup which is very brief compared to setting up a rabbit plane, um, this goes pretty quickly. As you get close to the baseline you're going to see the fibers start to flake up and lift off. That tells you you're getting close, just don't rush it, you don't want to travel over the baseline. There's a close-up of the rabbit, everything clean and square. We're going to use that small shoulder to register the board. Here's the end result of the rabbit you cut. The board registers against the shoulder, keeps everything square and aligned, makes transferring your marks straightforward.